now the image is formed by a plain mirror you are able to see yourself in the plain mirror because you are giving out light and you are the object and image is formed and you are able to see your image now to understand how that image is formed let us take the object as one point now here you have taken one point as an object its reflection will be formed in the plane mirror this is the plane mirror mm1 this is the plane mirror now this object is a point object o it will give out light it will give out a incident ray op you can see op is the incident ray it gets reflected p p q is the reflected ray so that image is formed on your eyes so you are taking two rays there are many rays which are given out but to understand how image is formed you take only two rays so one ray is op which gets reflected pq and that comes to your eyes now there is another ray or or which gets reflected as rs rs this is reflected so pq and rs are reflected ray which are incident op or are incident and pq and rs rs is a uh, reflected ray now this rays when they are extended and they are joined at a point that there you will see the image of o that is i is formed this is how the image is formed in the plane mirror for your understanding you have to first understand about one point so this is how the image of this o point object is formed at i because of the incident ray reflected ray and when the reflected rays are drawn backward they uh, they unite at a point and that point at that point an image is formed so this is how and that reflection your eyes can see your eyes can see this image the image which is formed by this reflected rays your eyes can see this is how you can see the image in the plane mirror this is the image which is formed of a point size object by a plane mirror so same way it happens for extended also <coughs> now this candle is the extended source this is the extended object so now you have to see how this image is formed in the plane mirror so here you see the candle it gives out two rays which are incident rays which get reflected and when you draw the reflected ray this candle is formed here the image is formed here which is exactly same it is exactly same therefore it is known as erect image this is how your eyes perceive the incident ray gets reflected and when you draw the reflected rays backward here you can see this image at the same distance now look here the object is here and image is here when you draw the normal you draw the perpendicular line and you measure this distance no and ni then it is exactly equal so the image which is formed is at the same distance as the object the distance of the object from the mirror and the distance of the image from the mirror is exactly same same way for your extended source also the distance of the object from the mirror 
and the distance of the image from the mirror is same. So this is how image of an extended object in a plane mirror is formed. That is erect image is formed. When you look into the mirror and raise your right hand, your left hand seems to be raised and when you raise your left hand, your right hand seems to be raised. Because of the lateral inversion, the image you see in the plane mirror is laterally inverted. So that is what lateral inversion is. It's a phenomenon by which left side of an object appears on the right side of its image in a plane mirror and vice versa is called the lateral inversion. Now, you must have seen an ambulance, a uh, laterally inverted image of ambulance is written. Now, there might be emergency in the ambulance. So, whenever it is moving and the vehicle ahead sees the image of the ambulance in the rear view of its mirror, they give way to the ambulance. The inverted image is correctly formed in the rear view of this mirror of the vehicle ahead. So, in um, on ambulance, it is always in laterally inverted image of ambulances written. Inverted image of A, M, B, U, L, A, N, C, E. Lateral image of each letter is written on the ambulance and when the image is formed on the rear view mirror of the vehicle ahead, the correct image of ambulance comes and they are able to see, read ambulance correctly. This is what lateral inversion is and it this is how that invert laterally inverted image helps to form correct image on the mirror ahead so this is what lateral inversion is lateral is the side is the side so uh, the sides are exchanged. So, there is inversion of sides. Therefore, it is known as lateral inversion. So, now what are the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror? It is erect. My head is seen as head, leg as leg. So, it is erect. Erect. The image which is formed is erect image. And it is the same size, uh, whatever my height, whatever my breadth, it is same, seen as same size. So, size of the image is same as the object. Same distance behind the mirror. Whatever your distance from the mirror, the image is formed at the same distance in the plane mirror. Laterally inverted, that is the sides are inverted. The image which is formed is laterally inverted. Now, uses of the plane mirror. Of course, you can see yourself in the plane mirror. So, it used as a looking glass. Now, it is used in the barber shop. You must have gone to barber shop and when they cut your hair, they, uh, play, uh, they place you in front of a big mirror and after cutting your hair, they place a mirror, they show your haircut by placing another mirror behind. That reflection you can see in the main mirror. This is how the mirrors are used to show your haircut in front of you. So, barber shop uses the plane mirror. It is used in periscope. Periscope is an instrument used in submarine. Submarine is below water. They want to see what is above water. They see through the periscope. Periscope has a mirror where you can see. And there are multiple mirrors and the top, the reflection of the mirror is shown in the mirror below. This is how periscope works in submarine. Now, kaleidoscope is a toy. It is made up of two and more mirrors and 
uh, you are able to see the reflection in kaleidoscope you can make yourself also of the four mirror cover with the cardboard and put some pieces of broken bangles the interesting images will be formed as you move this kaleidoscope that is the use in kaleidoscope the use of the plane mirror solar cooker now when the reflection of the sunlight is on the solar cooker along with the light even the heat will be focused and the food can be cooked in the solar cooker optical illusion if there is a small room and you put many mirrors around the room will look big that is the optical illusion laser light that is reflected with the help of the plane mirror now the colors of the light sunlight you see as white color but it is combination of seven colors which are those seven colors with cure that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange red seven colors so whenever you observe the object they if you, it seems red then they absorb rest of the color and they reflect red if you see uh, green then they absorb rest of the color and reflect green so here if you see tomato they absorb all the colors except red so they reflect red grass is green it absorbs all the color and reflects green coal absorbs all the color so you see it as black now sugar salt they are white because they reflect all the colors so whatever you see white they reflect all the colors they combine and therefore you see it as white so that is what color of light we get light from sunlight and it has seven colors and the object whichever uh, they absorb you cannot see what they reflect you see so now the light you can divide into primary and secondary which are the primary lights red blue yellow they are primary lights they are not formed by combination of any colors now secondary lights they are formed by the combination of various colors so let's see which are secondary lights green they are formed by blue and yellow violet they are formed by blue and red orange formed by red and yellow so primary and secondary but nowadays the tv screen they absorb red green blue and form combination different colors you can see on the screen by combination of red green blue so red blue they are primary and green is secondary its combination of primary and secondary and they combine further to form different colors so here in the figure 4.9 you will see formation of color by addition of red green blue now formation of color by subtraction now light uh, white light has got seven color so you subtract the color for example tomato shows red color in presence of white light because it absorbs all the light except red it reflects red and therefore you can see the tomato red because it reflects but i am giving only blue light it does not have any uh, red light so what blue light it has the tendency to absorb it will absorb uh, blue light and it will look black so here red tomato in presence of white light it is red tomato but black in presence of blue light because no red light is given so here it is subtraction of that color i have subtracted that color i have not given for it to reflect so some colors can be formed by the subtraction of colors so figure 4.10 will show the formation of colors by color subtraction of this three colors